in the previous videos we discussed about the scalars right and then we learn about the vectors then we learn how to represent the vectors how to represent the magnitude of the vectors now we can understand the unit vector right so what is unit vector the name itself it is very clear unit vector unit means uh, one you know so and vector you know already uh, having magnitude and direction so those vector which has magnitude one which is magnitude unit all right and have a direction are called the unit vectors so unit vectors has uh, first I'm, I'm gonna tell you magnitude uh, magnitude is equals to one and it has a direction it has a direction and nothing more than that two things you need to remind always unit vectors are first unitless they do not have unit like meter centimeter kilometer whatever any or or newton whatever those things nothing you know they do not have the unit and they are definitely dimensionless if there are no unit then they are dimensionless also you can say so the unit vectors are unitless and dimensionless they just represent always and always just a direction unit vectors always gives you direction i already told you that the vectors is the combination of two things combination of the magnitude uh, and the direction so vector p can be written as the magnitude and the direction and direction is given by the unit vector all right so let's say this is p and cap all right this is the way to represent let me tell you a unit vector is represented by any vector let's say if it is p vector all right and if you want to unit vector of this then you just write p and give the cap all right p cap or p hat whatever you say we used to generally say uh, p cap all right so p cap represents the unit vector of p in the direction of the p all right so unit vector of any vector always gives just the direction and nothing more than that it's unitless it's dimensionless and it has the magnitude one in the direction of that vector p that's it all right so if this is vector p let's say this is vector p then unit vector uh, the, if this is vector p then unit vector may be like let's say this is one unit distance all right one two three four five then it just represent one you know so this this particular having direction all right and you, uh, magnitude is one magnitude magnitude is unit so unit distance and the direction in the direction of the vector p is called the unit vector of the p all right so here unit vector of p i can write like uh, vector p divided by the magnitude of vector p all right so this is the unit vector of the p so whenever you're writing unit vector of any vector uh, then simply write the vector all right just write the vector and then divided by magnitude of the vector magnitude of vector all right so vector divided by the magnitude of the vector is called a uh, unit vector all right that's that's actually that's giving you unit vector that's it all right so if i'm writing the unit vector of uh, a then what i have to write uh, the unit vector of a is written by a cap and is equals to the vector a divided by the magnitude of the vector a sometimes we write magnitude of the vector is uh, magnitude of the vector is simply like a also right just if you write symbolically just a that also represents the magnitude right so this is the unit vector of a and now let me tell you in cartesian plane if you see or, or in coordinate axis if you see all right if you have one dimension then you will just get x axis and that time we represent the unit vector of let's say this is origin the unit vector of x axis by i and giving the cap and if you have two uh, two dimension i mean you have a plane just like the screen this black screen or your uh, your your table plane or you say the the notebook these all are plane all right so that time you have y axis also right then the unit vector for the y axis we give by j and then cap all right so so I represents the unit vector in uh, in, in x axis y uh, y axis unit vector is represented by j cap and if you have the if you have the uh, let's say z axis also all right let's say you have z axis also and if you have z axis then the unit vector of the z axis is represented by k and giving the cap k cap so this is uh, this is uh, unit vector in uh, x axis this is unit vector in y axis this is unit vector in z axis all right so if you, if you see the so the coordinate then it will be one comma zero comma zero in 3d if you look all right in in 2d if you see then you don't have to write this third part all right uh, but let's learn into a three dimension all right so x axis you are moving one and y axis zero and z axis zero all right so this is this is the position of the unit vector i in x axis similarly here uh, this point so it will be zero x axis one y axis and then zero all right 
Similarly, k, if you see the position of this unit vector k, uh, it will be 0 x axis, 0 y axis, and 1 unit in z axis. All right, so these, these are the unit vectors. So when, whenever you're writing vectors, any vectors, uh, 3D will be discussing later. Let's let's tell me uh, let me tell you because at the first I'm um, telling you 3D, then you might get confused. And it is better to learn in a plane first. All right. So if I have just a plane, uh, and in plane you know we we have the two two dimension. One is x axis and another is y axis. X plane and y plane. So uh, x and y you know together it makes a one plane. And this is my origin. And let's say here is my point P. All right. And then and then and then uh, I'm going to connect this. All right. OP. Let's say this is vector P. All right, and the coordinate of this point P, let's say this is two comma three. All right, so two comma three means actually I'm covering first three. Uh, means I'm covering two first in x-axis and then three in y-axis. So this is two comma three. All right, so here vector P is two uh, i plus three j. Here i represents i move this is you know two i all right i move two i in x axis and then and then three j in y axis so this is this is uh, this is you know this is the this is the vector p and now in this case i want to find out what is the unit vector of p so unit vector of p i told you already it's the vector p divided by the magnitude of that all right and vector p that is two i plus three j but magnitude of p to find out the magnitude of p you know you need to find out this distance you know and to find out this distance this is actually the magnitude means the real length i told you already the real size of that vector all right this vector p so what is the real size of this vector p to find out this uh, you can use the distance formula here yeah? the origin has the coordinate 0 0 and whenever you have the two points you know we have already learned if you have this is x1 and y1 and if you have point x2 and y2 then that time you can find out the distance between these two points by applying distance formula which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square inside the root so the same formula i'm going to apply here i have the two points this is 0 comma 0 and i have here 2 comma 3 so the distance i can easily find out the real distance and that distance is going to be here uh, the distance is going to be actually the magnitude of that vector p all right which is actually x2 minus x1 so 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 square plus 3 minus 0 again which is going to be 2 minus 0 x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 whole square inside the root so it's going to be 2 square plus 3 square and that's going to be 4 plus 9 and that's going to be root over 13 all right so this is p is actually again uh, one more time I'm telling you uh, in this situations whenever you get you just have to square the x component and square the y component all right so we, we, we learn one more thing this is you know the distance you travel in x axis is called x component all right x component and the distance you moved in the y coordinate is called y component all right so here this 2 is our x component and this y uh, this 3 is our y component and it is always distance of i mean always the magnitude is the square of the x component plus a square of the y component and if you have 3d then you will be writing here square of the z component also but here we are just doing in the plane so we have just x and y plane all right so so this x is actually our here uh, i'm now replacing by the number this x is here our this 2 all right so this is 2 square and this y is here 3 so it is 3 square all right so it's going to be now 2i plus 3z uh, over this is 4 and this is 9 all right so this is 4 and 9 under root and this is going to be 13 so this is 2i plus 3z over the root 13 and i will separate it so unit vector of p is 2i over root 13 plus 3z over root 13 so this is the unit vector of the uh, vector p right which is 2i plus 3z and i told you already that the that the vector unit vector has always the magnitude one then you can you can verify also if you want to find out the magnitude of this unit vector then you can simply square the x component and square the y component so it will be 2 root over 13 square all right and 3 over root 13 
square inside the root all right that's going to be 4 over 13 and that's going to be 9 over 13 it is inside the root that's 13 over 13 that's 1 under root and that's 1 so from here what you get the unit vector has the magnitude 1 all right so from here what do you understand that any vector it is all right that will has always the uh, I mean I mean always the magnitude as a 1 and there will not be any unit there is no unit all right no 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 dimension nothing 